We are on the island when they showed some of the scenes from the movie Pirates of the Caribbean. So I think it's the perfect place where I can show you some secret tricks of mine. What is the worst thing about kiteboarding? Right, attaching the lines, dealing with the tangle and all the struggle around. But what if I tell you there is a way how you can keep your lines attached to your kite all the time? Okay. Hey, can you hold it, please? Thanks. Yeah, ask your friend to hold your kite. You can do it without, but it's just much easier and faster. Also, your kite is not gonna get wet. So if you're like me and you're not crashing your kite, you can keep it new for ages. Okay, now I'm just gonna make my bar the same like any other time. And I'm gonna roll it all the way to the kite. It's also good if before landing the kite, you make sure all your lines are not twisted because sometimes if you keep spinning one way or making kite loops one way your power lines tend to be twisted around itself so make sure to unwrap them before okay as i am almost next to the kite maybe one two meters from it what i want to do is that i want to put all the lines inside of the kite you see there is some there are some lines going outside so I just make sure they're in I'm gonna pull in remaining of the lines and now there are two secret things you want to do first one is that you want to wrap your lines around your bar and make a one or two loops for safety around it this way your lines are not gonna be uh, tangling around the bar the second thing is that with this remain, remaining line, you want to make loop here. You want to put it like this together through the pump thingy. And now I just want to make a simple knot. I want to make sure the lines are a little bit loose. So when I pump it next time, uh, they are, the kite have some space, but you don't want them too long. Otherwise they can be cutting some fix, uh, some things or tangling. So now I'm just gonna deflate the kite. I usually pack the kite only from one side because I have one big valve in the middle. It's a little bit faster and uh, also your kite is nicely fold. And there you have it. My 12 meter crazy fly tango is ready for the next session. When you're ready for your next session, just take the kite from the back and uh, you're ready to pump it. Make sure the bar is just away from the kite and unfold the kite. So what I want to do now is untie this knot which I made on the kite. Now I'm going to ask my friend to hold the kite for me. Thank you. Uh, I can double check if all the lines are fine. They have to be inside of the kite. If you see any of the lines going around the kite, just make sure that you're not gonna get it tangled. And now I'm gonna untangle the second knot, which I made on the bar. Now I'm just gonna walk the lines. Okay, so my bar is set. So I'm gonna walk downwind now, just to make sure the lines are not gonna be tangled. Remember, as always, you first want to check your lines before attaching your bar. Okay, so I'm going to spin the bar and you see now my lines are straight. So I'm just going to attach my kite. Yeah, so as you can see, it's really fast. You can be on your kite in about two minutes. Okay guys, so obviously the system is not for everybody because if you have only one bar, you cannot use it but uh, for many sports or also for different circumstances it's very fast and very simple so i hope you enjoy it and see you next time